Kavaka says the idea is also to develop ASAP area and not only concentrate on the Talismani settlement. In addition, Kavaka says with assistance from Mitko and Empower, the constituency committed to undertake regional development without delay. We are having uh, another project that is about to keep uh, going at Okatumba Gate. Uh, Nampawa will electrify Okatumba Gate uh, very soon because uh, when I contacted them, the project has been given a number. Very soon the advert will be out. So we are expecting that in the mid, uh, mid year or towards in the, sec in the third quarter of the year, the project should start kicking. I uh, have uh, alluded to it many a time that Okatumba Gate is an economic hub of the constituency because it has a center, central point. Each and every second week, there are uh, animals that have been sold there, that have been marketed there, auction that has been taking place there. So at that place, we are selling more than 2,000 cattle per, per month that has been marketed there. So the businesses that are there, so we just need to electrify that place so that uh, maybe one day it can be a settlement. Another key project anticipated in the constituency is the upgrading of Trans Kalahari and Talismanes Road, which is 148 km long on a low volume seal standards. It, it is a low, uh, a low volume high standard seal that, that, that will be constructed because according to the assessment that they have done in the feasibility study, that is what they recommended so that it can be a low volume high standard seal that must be uh, to, to upgrade it to a beautiful standard. Kariya Kavari, NBC News, Khobabes.